to the analyst desk. Thank you, guys. I am here with the bot lane of Team Liquid. Keith, and a special, fabulous performance out of you guys this entire weekend, starting 2-0 at the top of the table. That's got to feel good, especially coming out strong in week one. Yeah, um, we actually only had about less than two days of practice. So initially, the first day, we were getting destroyed by every single team. We were losing to amateur teams. You know, we were losing to our own academy team. We moved out Keith. So we were super demoralized, but as as we just practice a little bit more, we actually got a lot better, and I think we showed that we're a pretty solid team right now. And Special just mentioned you only had a couple days of practice, Keith. What was that like coming into this organization with the kind of pressure that you have on your shoulders filling in for a player like Piglet, you know, and only having two days to prepare? Oh, yeah, it was definitely surreal, and there was this kind of pressure, like, how would you play compared to Piglet? And there was this pressure, but... Gradually, I learned to ignore it and just play what I, how I play. Oh, and you played fantastically. 15-2 uh, and 23, a 19 KDA over both days. And an interesting statistic that we have just to throw out there is that 476 people decided to start you in their fantasy leagues, which is only 0.02% <laughs> of people playing fantasy. But man, I bet they are happy right now with the points that you racked in for them. So I have to commend you on your play. Um, something that I want to ask you more pointedly towards towards your style as an ADC. Uh, I know that you had a stint where you moved from ADC, then you actually made a, you know, a showing as support in the challenger scene, and now back to ADC. So what has playing multiple roles or both roles in the bot lane done for you as an AD carry? Oh yeah, um, playing support actually kind of improved my skill as an AD carry. I know what supports do. I know when they can go aggressive and how to lane, when to roam, where to ward. So I know how to play around that vision and made me a better AD carry overall. And a special bringing in somebody who does have that knowledge, did that make it much easier for you to quickly adapt and kind of get past like the minutia of the bot lane mechanics and just say, hey, we both know what's going on. Let's focus on our synergy over these this you know couple days that we have. Yeah, actually we were doing really well as a bot lane, mainly because we could both speak English. And compared to Piglet, yeah, he was you know Piglet's really strong mechanically, but be not being able to speak the same language was actually a huge detriment for us. But with Keith, obviously, we can talk a lot more, just explain strategies. I can tell him, hey, um, uh, don't die. You know, like, I'm roaming, don't die. And, you know, he'll listen, and we actually did really well. I was a bit skeptical at first because we actually tried out Keith a long time ago, about a month ago, before we got Piglet. And let's just say it wasn't the greatest showing ever. And today and yesterday, he did really well, so I'm really proud of him. So good at Keith. Thanks. Heck yeah, I like that. Uh, I want to harken back to the interview that Jat had with uh, Steve before, before the game where he asked him how the transition was, you know, or what the transition was like for the team from his end. Uh, from the player perspective, how has that transition been going from Curse, you know, this very set-in-stone organization, even just down to the fact that you have diehard Curse fans, over to the newly minted Team Liquid? So our biggest fear was that the fans that were following, following Team Curse they would just, you know, be really upset that we move organizations. But we wanted to remind them that we're the same players, we have the same management, everything's the same. Only the name's different, and it means that it's a different organization, you know, different clothes. But other than that, we're the same people. And I think it really showed. Um, just yesterday, we had a lot of fans come out and just, you know, do pictures of us and just really reassured us that, you know, our fans are our fans. And it doesn't matter what our team name is, but they're here to support us. And I think we're, we're giving them a good showing. So I think they're happy, and we're happy, and we're going to make us look really good as we go into the rest of the season. Uh, Keith, again, I mean, I have nothing but adoration or, or, or compliments to throw your way because of your fantastic play this weekend. So I want to ask you, after the first game yesterday, you, you, you all played fantastically. You had a great scoreline. What did that do in terms of your confidence level to come in today, you know, and play a little bit more aggressively? At some, you know, we saw you flashing the blue wall to kill LeBlanc, snipe LeBlanc with, you know, a Caitlyn Q and things like that. That that's something that we don't see very often out of players who are on the LCS stage for the first time. Oh yeah, um, the first game, uh, our comp, thanks to Peter, like boosted my confidence a lot. So this game coming into it, I had a lot more confidence. I knew I could play aggressive, so I went for those plays. Was there a little bit of, uh, of, a, of a fear, though, yesterday with the, with the comp, knowing that, like, well, it's on you in terms of the damage output. You definitely have the entire team backing you, but if you don't have pretty immaculate play as the solo ca damage carry on the team, things might not work out too well. Oh, yeah, there was definitely pressure on me, but other players would choke, but I actually have experience uh, performing under pressure, so I think I did fine.
Yeah, you did, you did quite well. Especially, I do want to jump into a replay about 31 minutes into the game because I want to know what was going through your head. Uh, we're going in the mid lane. You're getting chased down, and you end up flashing a blitz hook back into the team in a 4v5 to initiate. So walk me through the comms, your, your, your individual decision making in choosing this team fight. Okay, so there we actually just got caught mid. Uh, Keith got hooked earlier, and we lost a turret, and then Phoenix got hooked as well, and we lost another turret, and we were on our back foot. I think Reactin just died right before that, and my, my thought was, all right, I need to get a rebel up. I need, a, I need a dodge with Tuck, I need to initiate and hopefully stall enough time for Renekton to come back in at TP back. So here I was just like, alright, I'm just going to go in, you know, I'm going to probably die anyways, just try to do something. My team can win this fight, great. And then we actually won on this fight because we were so far ahead. But it was a really risky play, but I felt like I was probably going to die anyways, so let's try to do something. And my biggest fear was that I don't do anything in that fight and we die anyways. So my biggest goal was just to try to do some damage, try to do some AoE and does not die instantly. Now, it's been commented already that it looks like Team Liquid is performing with so much more cohesion this season than the last. Um, with the addition of Piglet and the, you know, the strength of showing that you've already had, how, how do you feel the rest of the season is going to be going for you guys? Well, I think we're doing really well. And as we um, go on the season, I think we'll do even better. And I think we should think about a name change to Team Solid, since we're just playing so <laughs> solid right now. Um, but yeah, that's something we have in our minds. And then we're just trying not to get overconfident. We have a really hard week next week with C9 and TSM. So if we can have a good showing there, and especially with only Piglet being back for only a few days, it would be a hard game, but if we can do well or even win those games, I think we'll look really, really good. Yeah, I just, uh, I know a lot of people are curious, so I do want to touch on the Piglet subject real quick because he is coming back. Uh, what has your experience been like with Piglet, and how do you think the dynamic in the team will, I want to say change, only because what we've seen is this week with Keith. I know you guys have already been practicing with Piglet, but what can we expect to see differently next week bringing in, you know, Piglet, that touted mechanical god in the bot lane? So Piglet, he's, like, like you said, he's a mechanical god, and we want to bring that, we want to showcase that, and we're going to do a lot of comps that will revolve around the AD, but not every comp will be like that. And I don't think we're too different. I think we played solid this week, and it's team play that really wins League of Legends. It's not, it's not the single player. It's the team. And we need to showcase that even more. Like, we, we had some pretty rough um, edges in, the, in these last two games. We, we got caught a few times. You know, we lost Baron yesterday just because we died trying to you know, dive the fountain and stuff like that. That we need to get out of our system. And with Piglet, we're still going to work on that. But then we also still have another factor now that we don't speak, all speak the same language or, uh, or as fluent in the same language. But it's something that we are working really hard on. And with Piglet, we're gonna, I think we're going to do even better. And especially on C9 and TSM, mechanical skill will matter to some extent. All right, Keith, and finally, last question to you is, what's next on the docket for you? After an incredible showing here in the LCS, where, where are you looking to go with your future? Um, I think I'm just going to wait. Uh, after this, I'll be going back to Liquid Academy, playing in the Challenger scene. But I can't play the first round this Tuesday. So after Tuesday, I'll be playing, practicing with them again and seeing my options. All right. Well, again, a fantastic performance by the both of you, the entirety of the team. Congratulations on the 2-0 start. Uh, we are going to have to take a broadcaster cooldown while Cloud9 and Gravity load in for our next match. And the North American LCS continues in just three and a half. Tony Small has got, got it going on. She's <laughs> all I want, and I've waited for, for so long. <laughs> it was Phoenix dropping right before. Here come the shots. Keith trying to focus down a link. That was a headshot. Can he get one more peacemaker? Grab number two misses, and Phoenix! Oh, Phoenix right in the middle of the fight with shifting sands. So if this goes down to the favorite team, Liquid, they have a lot oh. to push. Absolutely exploding Link. Oh, oh my god! That hit Link, that's huge! It means he can't be in and out as much as he wants. Aphromoo's in the front, the silence is already gone.